Hey guys, what is up? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you Weird Weapon Wednesday episode number 28. And for this episode, because you guys mostly know that I like to focus on the gameplay in Weird Weapon Wednesday, it is going to be an MOAB in 6v6 domination on one of my favorite maps, Dome. Now, I didn't have any support runners with this. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, this is a pretty intense 40 gun streak. I believe it was one of my longest gun streaks, but I believe I did have a 48 and a 52, if I recall correctly. But I didn't have any support runners. I was actually playing with, I believe, four other people, so not quite a full team. We really relied on communication by our little mic things in the upper left hand corner don't really show up because I was recording this in theater mode because for some reason I guess I just didn't want to record live but this is 6v6 domination on dome definitely one of my favorite maps now I know this is weird weapon Wednesday and the M4A1 isn't really that weird but I found this was a very, very good game plan. I needed to get this out to you guys as soon as I possibly could. So I thought, what better day than Wednesday? And I know it kind of evolved with and around Weird Weapon Wednesday, but there would be definitely some awesomely weird weapons next week. So definitely tune in to see that. You guys can also subscribe to get an immediate alert, hopefully if the sub boxes work correctly, to get that to you guys whenever I post it. But you can see these different parts are actually sped up. Now you guys may say, oh, I didn't say, well, I didn't say it was like a two-minute Moab or anything, so why can't I speed it up? And it was only parts where I wasn't getting kills just to make this very, very high action because I like to keep it up to you guys, keep you entertained, and see how long you guys can watch the video. And if you guys do watch the whole video, that's always very appreciated because then you guys can just hear what I have to say at the end, which is always pretty good. Again... This is a 40 gun streak. I really like going on gun streak. Now, the thing that I actually made a mistake right when I was going for a gun streak, and if you guys are going for a gun streak, then you probably don't want to make this mistake that I made. The mistake I made was actually calling in the Moab, which I guess it kind of makes it good in some parts, but it depends on your play style. My goal was when I called on the Moab to disable the other players to get them EMP'd for a minute so I could get more kills. Also make their screen all fuzzy and their sound all weird, although that did kind of mess up my sound too. It was kind of redundant. But oh well that's a mistake I've made in the past and you guys get to learn from it so that's what I try and do here on my channel if I'm giving you guys tips and tricks on the game I try and make those mistakes I don't personally try to make the mistakes but if I do make mistakes I'll help you guys learn from them you can also see that I pick up the ACR here not that I'm trying to say I use the ACR the whole game I was running a little bit low on ammo you guys can actually see that down there in the lower right so I had to pick up a gun and the ACR just happened to be there but you can see me aiming through this like sort of towel as turban thing not turban sorry excuse me but I actually tried to aim through there and I tried to use marksman now marksman was like marksman is a huge difference stalker plus marksman is absolutely insane I love stalker stalker if it's back in black ops 2 that will probably help me play black ops 2 so much more than I thought I originally would and then marksman now marksman is amazing I know my dad likes to use it a lot but it is such a good perk it, it's like kind of like a wall hack I mean it, it's just truly amazing I mean the pro version doesn't really help unless you you're a big sniper and most snipers nowadays are just quick scopers and drag scopers or whatever so they don't need to aim down sight for a really long time but suppressor matters a lot you can see right here I pick up the mob of course you guys know suppressor helps you stay off radar suppressor helps your sound go a little bit quieter but for going for on long gun streaks you d most definitely do not want to show up on radar that is probably the most important thing and then you can also maybe calling me a noob for using the red dot I know but I was just trying to switch it up instead of just suppressor and extended mags and it actually ended up going on my side I really like the red dot with the m4 I mean we all use the m4 right when modern warfare 3 came out I'm sure a lot of us thought it was the greatest gun on until we hit the MP7 and the ACR and the PP90. You know, the PP90 has a really nice fire rate. You guys can go check that gun out. I'm sure you guys will have a great time with it if you're good rushers. And you can also see another thing that I was doing in this game that made this gameplay even more impressive was I was playing so much objective that it was kind of... I, it was kind of overwhelming. I never really played that much objective. I mean, I really, really do respect players who play the objective because I guess that's part of the game. But, of course, you guys know and heard from other commentators that, of course, killer and slayers actually matter. They defend the flags, whatever you're playing with. If you're playing capture the flag, demolition, domination, maybe sabotage, whatever it is, they actually do a big part than you normally think they would. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and can take these tips that I gave you guys and go out and use them. They, these two guns are very good. Specifically the M4 I really like a lot. The ACR is good, but I don't like to use it too much. But if we could try and hit 45 likes on this video, that'd be absolutely insane. Again, guys, we did it last time. I know for a fact we can do it again. See you guys next time.